According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, approximately 1 in 68 American children have been identified with autism spectrum disorder. With the increasing number of children being identified with autism, there is an ever-increasing demand for more board-certified behavioral analysts. In 2013, the University of Texas at San Antonio's College of Education and Human Development established the Teacher Education Autism Model, or Team Center, to serve the community and address this need. The center here is uh, the Teacher Education Autism Model, or Team Center for short. And it's designed to function as a teaching hospital for introducing our graduate level students and uh, as well as undergraduate students into um, effective teaching practices to get uh, their hands on a child with autism and use the latest evidence-based practices to uh, effectively promote uh, verbal behavior and reduce problem behavior for the children we serve. We assign them in a two-to-one setting as two therapists for every one child. Therapists are graduate students that are uh, seeking certification to become board certified behavior analysts. And this is a way for them to really uh, take what they're learning in the classroom and get some hands-on applied experience. Dr. Mason's very great about having an open door policy so you can come and observe and kind of see what being a behavioral therapist is all about, which is really nice to someone who has no experience. Uh, with working with children with disabilities or uh, even really knows what it is. You learn how effective ABA therapy can be to these children and you get to see it firsthand. The Team Center also conducts valuable research to help determine effective teaching practices such as the referent based instruction or RBI model. Uh, it's based on uh, other natural environment training programs for children with autism. Uh, we um, identify what's stimulating the student at that point and we captain we uh, capitalize on that stimulation. So whether it's they're playing with a ball, uh, whether it's they're doing some type of um, motor activity, swinging, jumping, things like that, we want to build a language program about what that kid's engaged in. So if they're playing with the ball, we teach them across the various uh, we call verbal operants about how they can talk about that ball. Uh, so one way is to request the ball, being able to say the name of the ball. Another is to uh, look at the ball and be able to identify it, uh, have the source of the ball be the source of control over the student's uh, language. Uh, when other people say the ball, we want the kid to be able to reply back and talk about the ball in kind of an echoic sense. And then in kind of a larger conversational sense, uh, when we're talking about things that roll or things that bounce, um, that child should be able to say, oh, a ball, a ball's bouncing. The UTSA Team Center is providing care that's not always readily available to families in and around San Antonio. Um, providing that direct service to the community is, is really what keeps us here on a daily basis. Uh, and, um, and getting a chance to work with the kids and really make a difference in those kids' lives is certainly um, kind of the immediate uh, reinforcement we receive for that. Uh, Beyond that, we want to see our students really develop new skills uh, and, and develop behavior analytic techniques and, and learn all the skills that they're going to need to be successful once they, they leave the classroom here at UTSA and go out into the field. Uh, and then really long term, we are also that research site, so we're looking to uh, further the knowledge base on evidence-based practices for kids with autism.